Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys some progress on pellet training this guy right here. For the past two weeks, I've been trying to get my pyar right here to feed off of pellets. It's been pretty difficult, and actually with my old pyars, it was near impossible. This time, I have a plan though. I went ahead and purchased this. It's freeze-dried whole fish. I don't know if you can see it through the container, but it's pretty cool. I've seen pyres eat pellets on YouTube and stuff, so I know it's possible. It just takes a lot of training, and that's the reason why I have these uh, huge Edegars here. So enough talking, let's go ahead and dive in, and I'll show you guys the progress. Check it out. Look at him. See how he's looking up? That is the result of two weeks of training, and he's actually uh, pretty skinny right now because he hasn't eaten in a couple of days. Uh, the last time I fed him was, I think like five days ago, but that's because we're doing the starving method and on top of that, we're doing the trainer fish method right here. So these guys right here have been training my pyra to look up for food. You can see, they're all kind of uh, looking up right now. So I'll show you guys what the progress been looking like. Can open this with one hand. So I've been training with these food sticks. I initially got them, f I don't know what fish I got it for, but uh, I still have them and I'm just using it to train. But what's nice is the Pyra kind of recognizes this as food. I haven't really tried any other method, which is why I bought that stuff. But this is what I've been doing. I just pour it in and then the Pyra just watches the Hugetas eat. You know, they strike and they go crazy at the surface. And then, you know, even sometimes it gets these guys wild up. Before, the food used to kind of come sinking down. It was tilapia colored and all that stuff. But now, I've only been really feeding stuff that floats. Well, besides the pellets that I feed these guys. But the good thing is, we have these dried fish right here that hopefully is gonna get them to want to eat. So let me go ahead and just put this in there. I'm not even too sure if he's gonna go for it. But I have a big dried fish right here. Watch this. My first time. Oh, he's, oh, never mind. I thought I saw, oh, he sees it. He sees it, he sees it. Oh! It's dried, it's not, it's, I didn't soak it right. Oh, dang it, it's, I think it's, I gotta soak it. All right, so you guys saw that the pyre strike the top. It knows that food is up there. It's just that that freeze-dried fish was just, um, I guess it was too, it was too dry. So I don't know if he's gonna go for a round two, but let's see, let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. The Hugetas aren't going for it. These guys are all wild up. I'll, I'll feed the pellets later, but. Yeah, that was the first time the Pyra striked, like, up top, which is really nice. Oh, here we go. Nah, he's, he's not gonna go for it, he's not gonna go for it. He ain't gonna go for it. The Hugetas aren't even going for that. Hugetas are looking at that dried fish. Pyra's looking at the dried fish. I don't know if anyone's gonna eat that. I'm gonna throw in a smaller one. I think, I think maybe they'll have a better time or an easier time eating a, a smaller one. All right, so here's a smaller fish. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, okay. He, he sees it. He sees it, but I think he knows what's up. Let's get it. You see how he's looking up? That's, that's a, that's a good sign. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, man. He's going to go for it. Come on, man. You got to go for it. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Look, he got everyone all wild up. Everyone's over here is like going crazy right now. Don't worry, I'll feed everyone else later. But right now, it's the focus is the Pyra. 
Oh, if you don't know, these two tanks are connected, so that's why these ones are going crazy right there. And then that's why these ones are going nuts too, because they smell the food in the water. This one's going crazy. Oh, here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, no. Do we get a little appreciation on how fast this baby doe is growing though? Look at him. He's looking nice. Someone did comment that this one right here has like bad patterns and looks bad and stuff but honestly i wanted a doe that didn't have pattern at all i wanted it to have like absolutely no pattern so this one was the closest that i could get and uh, i don't really mind a couple of the little dots back there i think it looks pretty cool actually i'm getting off topic focus is this guy right here come on man you know that's food what's crazy is these these hugetas isn't really eating it that's the crazy part i'm really surprised that's really good actually because i don't need the hugeta to eat the the foods that I'm trying to get the pyre to eat. Again, the end goal is not to completely stop feeding it frozen foods. I want it to have a variety. I want it to have like the option to eat anything that I throw in there. So I'm still gonna give it frozen foods and stuff, uh, but I do want it to accept dried foods too. Uh, at the end of the day, I want it to eat pellets. So some days I'll, it'll, eat, it'll eat pellets, and then some days it'll eat frozen foods and whatever. This one's actually uh, surprisingly, he's not camera shy at all. He is totally not camera shy. He strikes food and eats food with, when I'm around. Uh, I think it's because of these guys right here. They're really good uh, teacher fish slash dither fish. Oh, is he going to go for it? Tell me you're going to go for it. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Oh, damn, man. Oh. 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 Dude. No, there's no way he's going to eat that. There's no way. There's no way. It's too much. Oh, don't put it in the bulkhead, bro. Don't you, don't you put it in the bulkhead, man. Don't you, man, these Hugetas, bro. They don't play. Hugetas don't play. Let's try this one. Yeah, that should be good. Oh my God. What the heck? You guys, you guys already ate. Why are you guys eating? I don't know why they're still eating. See, one eats and then they all eat. But here we go. Nothing's stopping this dude. Hopefully it's soaked enough. Let's get it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, he is not eating that. There's no way. It'll, it'll eventually spit it out. And then when he does spit it out, I'll feed it to the other fish. He's gonna go for it. Oh, he missed. All right, so uh, feeding the dried foods isn't really that, isn't really working right now because these guys figured out that they can eat it. So they look, they're chewing it like beef jerky. If you guys have been following my channel for a while now, you guys will know that I used to have a pyre attack. That one did strike pellets, but I had to soak it in garlic and I had to squeeze the air out, let it sink. And it will only hit the, uh, the pellets when it's sinking. This guy right here is different because it's striking it from the surface. So even though that one that I did have um, technically did eat pellets or hit pellets, this one's a little bit better because it's striking stuff from the top. If the pyra doesn't eat the fish today, I'll go ahead and try it in a couple of days. I don't want to try it tomorrow because that's just way too much food for the other hungry fish that's in here. There's definitely one fish I do want to try to get on this dried food. And that's that guy right there. Look at the rice fish though, they're going crazy. See it? All right, let's see. Oh, oh! Let's see. Oh. Oh! It's up there. Hold on, I gotta get it out. It's a little easier like this. I have it on a, let's see if I can take a picture of it. I have it on a stick, so. Let's see. Let's see here. Look at the little fish just going at it. They're just pecking at it like little piranhas. All right. Let's see if he eats it. Oh. 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 Don't tell. Oh! 
the first dried food taken by the gopher cat. You know, that's actually not bad because gopher catfish are known for like not really taking a liking to dried foods. Huh, I think that's that's a win right there. Got the fish right here. I think you can see that. Oh, he's looking pretty, uh, looking pretty excited here. It's oh. Damn. Damn. Oh. Oh, sh Oh, what the? Wow, that's that's pretty surprising. So, the gopher cat, which is a very, very strict fish when it comes to like eating frozen meaty foods and stuff, it took the freeze-dried fish. That's that's very shocking. And it's also pretty shocking that the wolf didn't take it, the one that eats like anything. So, it's very interesting. And I've been watching this guy in the background, and uh, Pyre is not not budging at all. Dude, I've been waiting here for so long that all of the plant lights turned off. Like, it's crazy. Waiting around now. I know he wants to eat it. I know he can eat it. I'm just waiting for him to try. He just he, oh is that it tell me that's it tell me that's it tell me that's it right there tell me that's it no no don't you steal it don't steal it what the hell? why are you trying to bro that's it right there Ladies and gentlemen, the Pyara has successfully eaten dry foods. We've done it, boys and girls. The papaya. Oh my god. The papaya has eaten dry foods. This is absolutely insane. Finally. Let's go. Let's get it. First dry food consumed by this guy. And I was literally about to take the food out. One of the things with this fish right here is when it strikes food, it has to be like mushy and like the, the texture of real fish for it to kind of take it down. So you saw in the beginning when I first put the dried fish in, it was kind of stiff and it, it wouldn't recognize it as food. But after a while of having it in the tank, after it soaked up a whole bunch of water, it went up to it really, really close, sniffed it a little bit, backed off, and then striked it. It's a pretty big step when it comes to pellet training the pyra, and now I know it eats this food. Uh, I'm just hoping that eventually I can just cut the food into little pieces, smaller and smaller and smaller, until I just start throwing pellets with the dried fish and eventually just kind of phase out the dried fish and only throw pellets in. So, yeah, it's, it's, this is it right here. This is peak pellet training right here because the pyra finally ate food that wasn't like frozen or all that stuff. So, I like that. So, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I've just been here training and messing around with the fish. And uh, yeah, today was just the day that it finally ate dried food, so I'm happy with that. Actually, I'm really happy that my gulper ate dried foods and the pyre ate dried food. So like two of the most piscivore fish that I have, they've, they've eaten this. So I'm really happy with this product right here. I'll go ahead and link this down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, man, this is some good stuff because my guys are eating this right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully, the next one is this guy taking down some pellets. So yeah, peace guys.